Today we are going to do a problem in chain surveying based on obstacles in chain surveying. Let us read the question one time. A survey line CD intersects a building. Based on this data, we can draw the diagram. A survey line CD intersects a building. To overcome the obstacle, a perpendicular DE, 150 meter long is set out at D. So at the point D, we are making one perpendicular DE at 150 meter. So perpendicular means the line at 90 degree. So this perpendicular is made at the point D. From E, two lines EF and EG are set out at angles 45 degree and 60 degree respectively with ED. With respect to the line ED, we are making two more lines at 45 degree from the point E and at 60 degree from the point E. The first line is EF, it is made at 45 degree and the second line is EG, it is made at 60 degree. Find the lengths of EF and EG such that the points F and G fall on prolongation of CD. It is clearly given in the question, the points F and G are falling on the prolongation of CD. That means they are in the same line. In this question, we have to find out the length of EF, EG and also we have to calculate the obstructed distance of DF. In this question, first I am going to calculate the length of EF. For that, I am going to take the triangle DEF. In this triangle, we can apply the cos formula. We know that cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse side. In the triangle DEF, for 45 degree, the adjacent side is DE and the hypotenuse side is EF. So cos 45 degree is equal to DE divided by EF. We already know the value of DE that is 150 meter. We can apply. We can take the EF on the left side and cos 45 degree on the right side. Finally, we are getting EF is equal to 212.13 meter. Now I am going to find out the length of EG. For that, I am going to take the triangle DEG. In this triangle, adjacent side is DE and the hypotenuse side is EG. So cos 60 degree is equal to DE divided by EG. The length of DE we already know 150 meter. We can apply. Finally, we are getting EG is equal to 300 meter. Next, I am going to find out the distance of DF. For calculating the distance of DF, I am going to take the triangle DEF. In the triangle DEF, I am going to apply tan theta formula. Tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. In the triangle DEF, for the 45 degree, the opposite side is DF, adjacent side is DE. So tan 45 degree is equal to DF divided by DE. We already know the value of DE, 150 meter. We can apply here. Then we can take the 150 on the left side. It will go in the numerator. Finally, we are getting DF is equal to 150 meter. In this question, we have been asked the length of EF, the length of EG and the length of DF. We have calculated all the values. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.